Making selections when you have a background in Illustrator is annoying, so instead of going to the Layers panel and locking Layers up, the first tip is to use the keyboard shortcut Command or Control 2 and lock Layers up. That way you can interact only with the elements you want to without messing the whole thing up. If you like to speed up your workflow, instead of looking through the layers to see which elements are locked, go to Illustrator Preferences and look for the Selections and Anchor Display option. From there, enable the option to select and unlock objects on the canvas. Select it, hit OK, and then whenever you click on a lock layer, you should see this small icon of a lock. Now you can make a selection of the elements that are unlocked and move them around till you find something that works. You also have the ability to quickly move lock layers as well by unlocking them. That way you have full control over your illustrations and not rely so much on the layers panel. The second challenge was whenever I had an icon and needed it to align it with the text element, Let's select both of them by holding down shift, then go to window and opening up the align panel. As you can see, if I choose to align it to the top, the icon will actually align with the bounding box, not the actual type. Same thing below it, leaving us with a huge gap. Instead of turning the type to outlines, what I usually do, go to the menu here, look for the bottom option and click once on point text. This will tell Illustrator to actually align the icon and the actual vector type, that way you'll have better control over your alignments. Previously, I would just try to balance in them, relying on my attention to details, but that's not the case anymore. The final tip is for anybody who's ever used the mirror effect, but this time I'll show you a way to have a completely editable link between the two elements. Select the element you want to duplicate, go to Object, Repeat, and then choose the mirror option. This will give you a focus view of the two elements and some options. Click and drag the first handle, and that way you can place the center point of the reflection. The amazing part of this technique is that the uh, elements are linked and completely editable. That means that you can scale them around, rotate them, or make small adjustments before you are ready to actually save the vector graphic. At the top left corner, you can go out of the mirror element and always come back to it to make any further changes by clicking twice on it. Like this video if these tips were helpful and subscribe for more. Let me know in the comment section if you have any other questions and I'll make sure to answer them. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Take care everybody. Bye.